Okay, good morning everyone. Um, film, talk to my Psalm 23, filming from Monterey House over here. Um, so, actually, Sarah and I both remember talking about this Psalm, Psalm 23, especially like rod and my, rod, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. I remember talking about it recently. I just can't figure out when. It's, it wasn't one of the DT sharings. So maybe it was MBS, MBS and like both of us can't remember sharing about it, but can't find out when that was so that's a sign of age okay so all right psalm 23 it's usually we all usually talk about verses for one through four that's our favorite verses to talk about but i just wanted to kind of comment today about verses five and six um just focus my mind on that because that's just verses that i i don't usually pay attention to during this you know chapter so i wanted to kind of pay attention to that today and and it says you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies and here is table god is serving us preparing a table before me not in the in midst of still waters and and you know uh, and green pastures but in the presence of my enemies so what's going on there? And you anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. It's a picture actually of God honoring us and vindicating us in the presence of my enemies. So that I my life will be vindicated and ultimately the, our greatest enemy being Satan. That the before the accuser, before maybe even the critics, uh, the my life, even though you might face persecution and people going what are you doing don't live your live your life radically for christ like that you're being foolish but that there will be an, a vindication that god will prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies you anoint my head with oil my cup overflows so so live your life in a way that actually where this vindication makes sense. I think that, would, that, that was something that I was thinking about. Like, that's a very comforting and encouraging thought that my life will be vindicated. And ultimately in heaven, you know, there will be vindication that, that to serve Jesus, to live my life poured out for Jesus was right. And then that would be honored. Um, I think that is a very encouraging and emboldening thought. Uh, but on the other hand, I think it's also a double-edged sword, a challenge um, to live your life in such a way that such vindication makes sense. Because I think some of us, maybe most of us, most, you know, and some of the time, live our lives in such a way that this vindication, this idea of vindication doesn't even make sense. Or we are maybe afraid that we might end up on the wrong side of that table, you know that we were the ones who looked at the ones who are really living their life out for Jesus and said, oh, calm down, man, like, don't do that. And Well, um, let's live our lives. Let's make sure that we live lives that would look forward to such a vindication in heaven. Okay, so that was, that was my thought in verse 5. For verse 6, it says, Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And uh, man, you know, when I was young, a lot to be said here, but goodness goodness of God following me. Oh, wow, yeah, I want God to give me good fortune. That kind of a thing um, to make my life go smoothly as I follow Jesus. That might have been my wish um, when I was young, but as I get older and uh, as we become more self-aware, this mercy, the fact that God's mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Wow, that's what I need. I really, really need God's mercy to follow me all the days of my life. And um, yeah, I, I think because that his mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, that his mercy is actually big enough to cover my sins past, my pre and sins present, and sins future, um, that shall follow me all the days of my life. And therefore, I can dwell, and I can confidently say that I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever, forever. So, let's be encouraged by that thought, that no matter what sins, no matter what 
troubles or difficulties or character issues or frustrations and self hatred that results from that we might go through that surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever say that verse to yourself let, let it preach to you at it as it as it preaches to me so I just want to encourage you with that thought and those are the thoughts that I had for today's DT all right have a nice day